Hello folks and welcome. So Linux Mint 21.2 Mate Desktop, Mate Desktop. I'm going to talk about advanced Linux kernels today. So you may have heard that Linux Mint 21.2 released the Edge version of the Cinnamon Desktop that uses a 6.2 series kernel. I'm going to talk about making the Mate Desktop also 6.2. Well, what would be some of the reasons why you'd want to do something like that? Well, maybe you have a tower computer with some toy you just added that's not performing. Maybe it's a touchpad. Maybe you're doing a brand new install. Maybe you are using the Mate 515 series uh, kernel that comes with that regular copy of Mate and the uh, touchpad is not recognized uh, during your booting process after you're trying to install that. Well, may I suggest you just plug in a regular mouse if you have one, whether it's wired or wireless, and complete the install. And then upgrade the kernel to a 6.2 and see if your touchpad works. Okay, I've done that to a Cinnamon desktop, and I don't see why you can't do that here with Mate also on a laptop. So that's worked uh, for me as far as upgrading the kernel. So usually uh, newer kernels usually um, um, will accommodate for newer hardware. All right, so with that said, that's an option. If you are basically running your current version of 515 and if everything is working for you, then you're probably good to go. But for the folks that want to know how to do this or need to do this, let's talk about that. Let me get the preliminaries out of the way. Filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly since a lot of them default to 460. I also would encourage that you subscribe. I have over 200 and uh, some odd videos on all kinds of tips and tricks. So let's go take a peek at uh, Mint's website here. So I'm going to resize stuff on the fly here. We've got to go to the download section for a second. So this is a standard cinnamon version, 515 series Linux kernel, so is Mate. Down at the bottom is the Edge version that uses that 6.2 series kernel. So again, today I'm going to show you how to install the 6.2 because I'm currently running that. Now up at the top, you can click or not click, but point to downloads and slide your mouse over and click all versions. And I'll show you this chart for a second and then we're going to continue. So 21.2 is the current version of what Mint has on their Cinnamon Mate and XFCE desktop. LMDE 6 is down at the bottom, also a Cinnamon desktop. So on the 21.2, we have um, the 515 series kernel, 6.2, and then this is 515. That's what you normally will download to install Mate. So again, I'm going to talk about upgrading today. What is the reason one more time? Well, it uh, could be a necessity thing. Maybe you're trying to get a piece of hardware to work. But if everything's working on your current installed, then think about upgrading. If not, you can certainly upgrade and test it out for yourself because you can always boot back into your previous kernel. May I make one more suggestion here? Normally the search field is found at the bottom, by the way. Is uh, type in Tim, open up your time shift utility and make sure that it's running. You were asked to uh, activate that during install. So uh, time shift uh, is uh, normally running backups and it should be green and it normally is excluding your regular folders by default. It's meant to back up your system files and then time shift is found on the installation media on all of the mint copies when you're in the live modes and you can open it there, activate time shift, do a scan of your drive and do the restore. It normally looks like a wizard when you first open it. It doesn't require a password. So what is rsync? rsync is remote sync. So this utility uses rsync. rsync is found under the hood on a lot of Linux distros. And I have several videos also showing you how to use rsync even with script files, how to do personal backups. But that's another story for itself. If you want to force a backup, just hit create. Depending on the speed of your machine, it could be anywhere from three to five minutes and how many files you have. Okay, with that said, I'm going to close that. Just as a precaution, you should make sure that time shift is at least running on your system. You never know when you need that thing. All right, with that said, where's the Linux kernel? Well, if you click your shield down here where your updater is, uh, you click the view menu, here's your Linux kernels. So before I proceed, may I suggest grabbing your smartphone and taking a picture of this? If not, a digital camera or a screenshot. If you're going to do a screenshot, 
Take the screenshot and move it onto a USB stick before proceeding. That way at least you'll have this reference for later. But during the reboot process, during the reboot process, you can hold down your shift key if you've got a standard keyboard to get into the boot menu for Mint and, and you can use the advanced options to boot into your previous Linux kernel. Linux, does, Linux Mint does not delete your previous kernel when you don't upgrade. Update, upgrade, okay? Now on my machine, it's a wireless keyboard, so I normally have to tap, tap, tap on my shift key to get it to uh, activate the boot menu. But nonetheless, I checked it on mine and I can see all the previous kernels. I have more than one. So let me now continue. So you will have this on your machine. It'll say 515, 519, and 6.2. Whatever yours is booted into, whatever this line says is what you're currently running. All right, another way of viewing this, actually two, if you type in SYS, you can open up system reports and then hit the system information. This will display your kernel right here. A third way, I'm gonna open up terminal and then I'm gonna point in INXI. And I know this is too small, so I'm gonna hit my control shift and plus keys to make this larger for you. So this will be 6.2. Again, this is Linux Mint 21.2 Victoria, and we are dealing with the Mate desktop 126.0. All right, so what you'll see here is installed kernels. These are not running. The active kernel is what's actually running this machine right now. So, the, but these are installed. What that means is when I reboot the machine and hit that shift key repeatedly and get up that advanced menu, I can pick these to run if I want to. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six kernels installed. This one is active and running. 519 is end of life, so we're not even concerned with that. So this is what you get when you download a fresh copy of uh, Mate currently today on October 10th, for instance. It will install a 515 but you will also see 6.2 in here if you open this menu up. 6.2 may not be for everybody, but 6.2 is more advanced than the 515. So that's what I'm using today. All right, so again, if you are gonna do this, if you are gonna do this, first of all, you can install the kernel this way. I'm just picking on this one because I can't do an install here because it's not available for me because it's running. It's active in other words. However, this says it's superseded, but just pretend this is the top kernel. There's the install key. Once you do that, you may come back to this screen like this, and that doesn't mean you're running the 6.2. You close that and reboot this machine, okay? Restart that thing. Then after you bring it up, you can either reopen this back up or type in SYS after reboot and then to go take a look at your system reports and see if that says 6.2 on it. That's how you know you're running that and then check everything else out. Okay, make sure everything is working. If it's not, you can always reboot back to your 515 during that reboot process. Again, this screen right here. Okay, now for the folks that wanna clean up some stuff, may I make the recommendation that if you decide to delete these things, to at least leave two of these alone at a bare minimum one, if you're using 6.2. If you're using 6.2. So technically I can delete this one, this one, and this one. Or possibly that one, but I need to, I, I wanna leave at least one 515 at all times, just in case. There's also an automated tool you can turn on, done through here. And you use this with caution. Make sure that your system snapshots are properly configured. What's the other name for that? Time shift. Make sure that it's turned on. Did you know you can open up time shift over here also? You can just do system snapshots and time shift is here and you can log in there. All right, so what this thing does in the automation part of it is I got this turned on. So at, on a weekly basis, it will remove kernels. You don't have to do this. I'm just saying, this is one option for you. 
or you can just leave it alone. But that's how you upgrade your kernel. And again, if everything works on your computer, maybe just leave it alone. But if you've got a toy that's not working, maybe you want to try a 6.2 series kernel. Thank you for watching.